now one final first issue that we all agreed on, which is momentous. Lando. Number one, obviously. Good old Marvel. Star Wars. By Charles Soule, Alex Maleev on the art, Paul Mounts coloring. The Disney. color was a big part. Disney on the financial backing. It's been, what, six, seven months since Marvel started making the Star Wars comics. We've got Star Wars, we've got Darth Vader, we've got Princess Leia. That one's already been finished with now. And now we have Lando, Calrissian. I liked everything about it. The art looks the most like the old Star Wars movies to me. Um, even though it's a little sketchy and artistic. It's not like just drawings of... It's not like a rendering, it's... Yeah, what, I feel like well, Aaron it's... Cassidy in... Isn't that his name? Yep. In Star Wars. He does like pictures of the Star Wars characters. This is more of Alex Maleev doing an interpretation, but it just looks like it. Things look old and dusty and, and dark. Pulpy. Like the, and, like the movies yeah, are. Pulpy and yeah, it's... The colors, page to page. Like yeah, the color saying. palette is what really sold this book to me art-wise. Um, each um, setting has its own feel and um, shading and tone that's derived from its color palette that really is just creates striking panels and moves you through these settings really, really well. Just like in Star Wars, the movies, like the sure. where Han Solo is getting dipped into carbonite, that always like strikes me because it's got all those blues and Death when, Star scenes. Death Star scenes, yeah, it's Tatooine, yeah. It, it does replicate it in that way, but not it's not like a direct correlation. It's more like a continuation of the interpretation of these settings. And it's page to page. Yeah, each page kind of has its own distinct. Lando's still very much a hustler. Yeah. Yeah, that was a cool <clears throat> aspect. What, uh, what about the story? I feel that in an original, like an OG Star Wars comic, they are almost, they've almost been elevated to like action heroes. Like they're always on speeder bikes and killing everybody. This was more of um, Lando hustling, and he was scheming, putting together a heist, doing stuff that I think like Lando would be doing. Yeah, it's an interesting character because it's obviously I feel like it's an archetype at this point, but like someone who's a little slimy that in the end will is a nice person that you root for because he's the best of a situation. After the movies, he's turned into a hero uh, or a character that people idolize because <laughs> he's so cool and he ends up being a crucial part to the team. The only good thing we get out of this book is him not wanting to fight. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not a fighter. That's something that's honorable usually. Um, I, I think the interesting thing in the Star Wars universe about this character is that like he doesn't play. He's not a huge part. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this book is able to take this character that's like grown in importance to the fans of Star Wars and kind of give him so much background. Yeah. You know, he's the biggest mystery of the original trilogy, character-wise, because mm -hmm. um, he gets so little screen time, and he his connection to Han Solo is so deep. Um, and I think this comic really gets to delve into that, which or at least kick off that. Um, Exploration. What the bigger let me ask you guys a question about these Star Wars books. It's maybe my biggest pet peeve. Um, there's like a line in this book about the odds. You know what I mean? Lobot says something about yeah, like the odds are this, and he's like something sometimes not knowing the odds. Some is... people don't like knowing the odds. Right. Do you guys and like this woohoo thing when they're blasting off? Yeah. Not so much like the references in like how a character acts, but it's like the dialogue is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's nothing more than like a scratch on the surface of the dialogue. It's like, remember when he said that line in the movies? That was cool. <laughs> Let's say it again. It's like, do these characters but always... If you got just, away with stealing the ship, I don't know. I understand like the reaction, but it's like, does this character always just keep... Maybe that is a problem that bringing up the odds about stuff is like, every time he hears a statistic, he's like, yeah. Shouldn't tell me the odds every single time. I don't think that'll come up again. I what if Lando is terrified of but, flying? But in in the original Star Wars, they, yeah. in the original Star Wars book, Han Solo says something about the odds too. Yeah, it's like a reference to the same exact line. It's because everyone's sick of 
three PO just being a dork. <laughs> Light just, up. We're the good guys, man. <laughs> I know. I really like some of these bucks. That's just. I meant three PO, not you. The, I, <laughs> or you are three PO. Yep. <laughs> anyway, there's a cool surprise at the end of this one. Yeah, yeah, I really think it is. This is more of a prologue, I felt like, yeah, and definitely. the real adventure is going to start with issue two. Yeah. Look how cool that frame is. It's how all cool! They, like, it's all shadow so like how much they decided to leave out of that frame. That's what I really like about yeah. Yeah, this art. It's just... What else did Alex... Uh, Apparently he didn't read it, he's just judging the cover.